it's a chance to be a rock star for two and a half hours every single night. And uh, anybody who tells you that that's not the best part of playing the role is a liar. Jared Spector stars as legendary singer Frankie Valli in the Broadway hit Jersey Boys. You'd be like heaven to touch. It sort of, you know, follows his rise to fame as part of the four seasons. In its seventh season, with over 2,000 shows, this musical is a well-oiled machine. We drop by the August Wilson Theater to see how they do it. We're an hour and a half away from curtain. Uh, Sean here is making sure that all the lights are working. Shortly, automation will start whirring around, make sure that everything works and is ready to go for the show tonight. It's a huge production with plenty of props. These cameras, while well, they look old timey, um, they're, they're actually used in the show. And and then what they're filming is projected onto the screens. Hidden stairwells. Actor goes downstairs, they do a quick change, and pop back up in another costume. And elevators in the stage floor. Later, Kenny. Normally for a show, this is where the orchestra pit would be. Instead, the musicians are hidden underneath the stage. During the show, the stage manager is stationed stage left. We call all the lighting cues, so every time lights change, it's because they're being, being told to change. It's all coordinated from right here. And props and costumes are housed in hallways. One of my favorites uh, <laughs> is a mustache wall. Here's, here's everybody in all the different mustaches they'll be wearing in the course of the show. Along with tons of guitars. This is our stage left quick change room. Dance captain and cast member Katie O'Toole explains how the actors manage quick costume changes. This is one of the girl's dresses. And when she walks in the room, It'll be set up on this chair, unzipped. Her shoes will be down here so that we can basically just come in here and change quickly. Plus, there's a labeling system so they don't put on the wrong costumes. Every actor has a number. Every scene has a number. I mean, even our shoes, you know. We've got number 10 is Miles Aubrey. Over in the hair room, wig master Isaac Grinya is responsible for making sure the audience can hear the actors. They wear their mics in their wigs. So what we do is we pin them underneath the wigs in these uh, mic pouches so glamorous. This way they don't really have to worry about the wires and everything getting in the way of the costumes. Once secured, it's time for the wig. Each girl has about 10 to 12 wigs each um, per character. Uh, there's about 40 active wigs in the show. Moments before the show, some actresses are still getting ready. A You're woman the other day Shore. thought I was in Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, Jersey boys. <laughs> well, the guys are horsing around. Let's do it. Sherry. Yeah. I'm not dressed yet. I have 30 minutes. What am I going to do? But they all pull it together before the curtain goes up. Hey, how you doing? Let's make some magic. Welcome to Jersey Boys. Oh, my